Morning Date. Welcome to another edition of Morning Date, where we get a chance to sit and chat with outstanding figures from all fields and all walks of life. And today we have the chance to meet with uh, TV personality Sujan Shakya, most renowned for his role in the show Bijong Sang Hidam. Going to be a lot of fun to chat. Good morning, and thank you very much for uh, coming to the show, Sujan. Good morning, Steve. It was, it's a pleasure to be here. Very nice to meet you today. All right, so let's talk about the show first of all. Uh, it's become quite popular. You've become quite popular <laughs> these days, right? Bijong Sang Hui Dam. Let's uh, start with how you got involved with the program. The thing is, like, I used to watch it on TV. You know, like I was a big fan of uh, the show as well. Oh, so, even before you yes, became even involved. before I became involved. So uh, it, it was like you know, like a dream come true for me because I was doing lots of other programs in my school as well in the university. So I was doing this kind of program called KMS, which okay. is like Korean Movie Supporters. Okay. So there, I used to be the president. So I was a bit working as a, you know, like a little kind of like show, and we, we used to like do stuff like you know come up with free movies, like watch Korean movies for the international students. Wow! So uh, it was a big event, like where we called uh, Julian and uh, Mr. Chang Yuan. Mm -hmm. We called them as a guest oh, in wow. our show. So wow. I had you know like a little chit chat with them, and suddenly the producer from the show she was there as well. Mm -hmm. So she. Saw me, you know, like I was talking in Korean, so she was like almost okay. He he's like decent enough, so why why don't you give me a you know like call or something like that? So he started to like call me after four days, and like I just got into the show. So that's what it happened. Fantastic. You know? So you came to Korea back in 2010 to study urban planning, right? Actually, I came at 2010, but it was not uh, like I was planning to do urban planning. But I was here just for a short period of time, uh -huh. just to do some Korean stuff. So, oh, okay. uh, first I came here as a language student. Uh, so I did only Korean for like six months, and then after that I started to like think, oh, I should be doing urban planning. Mm. So that's how it changed after I came back to Korea. Oh, really? Okay. So at first you were just studying the language. Yes, just studying the language. When you came to Korea f for the first time, did you speak any Korean at all? Though I just knew like how to say 안녕하세요 okay. and 괜찮아요. Yeah. That was the only two words which I knew in Korean totally. Wow. So, so. You, you studied really hard then, obviously. I guess so. It was like, uh, I just uh, it was fun, you know, like it was fun learning. The whole language was a bizarre thing for me, you know, like coming from a different country and mm -hmm. learning it from ground level, you know, like so. It was a fun experience, actually. Uh, learning Korean from your native language, is that... Very difficult or very uh, easy Gr grammatically. The thing is, like grammatically, uh, it's it's similar. Like how the verb goes on, it's mm -hmm. similar to what we use in Nepal as well. Okay. So it was okay with it. Mm. So I was okay with the uh, formation and everything with the structures, but with you know like pronunciations and how the accent has to go on, you know, like the highs and the lows. These were like a little problem for me. I see. Yeah, yes. it's, it can be tough, right? Yes. So now you're famous in this country and people recognize you in the street. Somewhat, yes. How does that feel? That's very different from just a few years ago, right? Yes, it, it's totally different, you know, like... Uh, but still, still, I'm I'm not getting used to it, you know, like, people see and, like, they're, like, scared, you know, like, not scared, but surprised. That right, right, Is right. it, like, Sujan? And he's, like, you know, he just passed by, this right. kind of stuff. So, yeah. I, I, I use, like, public transportation a lot, you know, yeah. because I love public transport here in Korea. It's, mm -hmm. like, good. So, recently where I travel, like, people start to, you know, like, gaze at me and, like, what happened? Oh, is he Sujan? And it's, like, mm. those kind of expression I get on. Oh, know? wow. Are you enjoying it? Sometimes it feels, you know, like, a little bit boring but still still people recognize so it's like I'm, I'm getting used to it it's very flattering isn't it is it, it is yeah. it is all right so we'll go to this break and when we come back uh sujan of course is from nepal and we all know about the tragedy that yes, happened in, in nepal recently you're connected with some charities that are helping uh with people in nepal and also with the reconstruction we're going to talk about that after this here's ellie goulding from the about time ost how long will i love you 
chatting with my morning guest date, uh, morning date guest, excuse me, today, Sujan Shakya. And as I mentioned before the break, everyone is aware of what happened in Nepal recently, the tragedy. And you have a lot of messages uh, on our message board for you, uh, Sujan. Uh, pray for Nepal messages that have popped up this morning from yes, our lots, listeners. Yes, so lots, lots of like uh, listeners and viewers. You know, like they're going with uh, prayers and everything, like in my Insta, everywhere. So you know, like they're praying for Nepal. So it's it's a good thing, I guess. Your family was not affected. This is amazing. You were you were telling me off air. Uh, please share the story with yes, our listeners. Yes, it's, it's a miracle. You know, like uh, in Nepal, we just finished this uh, big uh, broadcasting, which we did last time. Where's my friend's house? Mm-hmm. So anything like big events finishes, then we go and you know like do some kinds of like Thanksgiving for the God. So that Saturday, like my father arranged a thing like a picnic, a small picnic, where everyone from my family they took a bus and went to this uh, temple around. So. The thing was, no was no no one were inside the house, mm-hmm. so that's why like no one was affected because they were outside. So that's that's somewhat kind of miracle, I think. You and know? and you were saying to me that your grandmother, who she do, she doesn't leave the house very often. Yes, like but, she has. But that, that day, day, that day, yes, unbelievable. So it, it's unbelievable, you know. Like I, I've still, I still think it's a miracle, you know. Like you're traveling to Nepal very soon. Yes, we're like we're we're making some arrangements. So maybe next week or so we'll be there. Okay, uh, so you're going uh, with a with a camera crew from yes, Korea. Yes, from Korea because uh, we have to. You know, like last time we went for this. Where's my friend's house? So the same team will be going with me for the relief as well because everyone's like so much affected by the scenes and you know like all the pictures coming because like even like when we sit down and do this kind of you know like editing and stuff like that. Everyone, the writers, you know, the directors, even the producers, they're sitting around and like, you know, like, hey, someone is crying, what mm. happened, you know, these kind of stuff. So everyone's like so much concerned. So we just want to go and like check out what is happening. So. It, I can't imagine how difficult it must be for you because this tragedy happened in your country and you're working on this television project to show people what it's like. But I can say you're doing a great service for people as well. Just like, uh, it, it is good, you know, the... Through the broadcasting, like I've shown, like we've tried to show what Nepal was, you know. So, right. But still, it's it's a it's a bad thing what happened. But still, people have this faith, you know, like Nepal will rise again. So we're trying to make, you know, like lots of, you know, what do you say, like commitments and all these things, you know, like whichever whatever we can do from our own side. So mm. not only me, but all the people from Korea have become like, you know, like a friend for me. I was at the uh, Seoul Friendship Fair. Uh, at City Hall last... Yeah, last time. I was there as well. Oh, were you there on the the weekend? Yes, on the weekend. And uh, one of the things that I noticed was um, there were fundraising events. Yes, a lot going on. A lot of fundraising stuff's going on, you know, like all over Korea, so... People had Pray for Nepal signs. Are you surprised by the amount of support that Korean people have shown for... Uh, Nepal and and fundraising efforts. I know another uh, broadcasting station here is working closely uh, with the Red Cross yes. to raise money to help with relief. Are are you? It must be very touching for you. It is. It is. It is very touching. You know, like uh, there's lots of countries like trying to help, but especially Korea. You know, like there've been so much. You know, so much and so much ahead in doing everything recently. Like even the team rescue team, which we which went to Nepal. You know, like they were inside the military service station where. Lots of people are not allowed, but, you know, like only the Korean doctors were allowed inside uh, the military service inside, you know, in the inside the troop. Okay. So that was something, you know, like which we cannot imagine. Oh. It, it is the friendship and the trust which, which the Korean government and the Nepali government have. Mm. So these kind of stuff, like it, it's touching, you know, like sometimes I feel even a message, you know, like last time even like I was doing this kind of, you know, like. Uh, fun release a program and a kid was there and like she tried to give out her money you know she said like oh i'm gonna like you know like i don't want to buy any gifts on mm. children's day you know like i'm gonna give this for like oh, relief wow. so that was so much touching you know so i i, I barely you know like i re- i cried actually you know, i can imagine was, so yeah those kind of stuff going on uh we have some messages for you uh 2016 neem says sujan um, i'm pleased to listen to your voice here on the show it is, you know, like this is like after a long time I've been like doing this kind of, you know, like English station. So yeah. all the time I'm with like Korean, Korean, Korean. So Well, speaking of English, yeah, no, you, Yunji Nim says, Sujan, good morning. Your English is so good. It is. I don't know. But, you know like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm guessing that people, yeah, you're right, Sujan. People watch you on TV in Korea. Yes. 
they're only used to seeing you speak Korean, right? Most, most of them, like, you know, like, I do every <clears throat> show, it's like everything in Korean, so mm. maybe people might get, like, surprised. Yeah, uh, Kam Doki Nim says, Radio에서 수진의 목소리를 들으니까 반갑네요. Oh, 반갑어요. <laughs> Kim Hyun Nim says, Sujan, 반가워요. Pray for Nepal. Thank you. Uh, more messages saying, stay strong, f- uh, Nepal. Uh, another one from uh, Tanala. Where'd that message go? Uh, Tanala, Tanala Uju In Nim says, stay strong, Nepal. Che Hyang Suk Nim says, pray for Nepal. And maybe you can tackle this message, uh, Sujan. Okay, I'll go, we'll go with that one. Mm. Sujan, Nepal is a Hanguk. 그리고 공부하려면 돈 많이 들지 않아요? 네팔에서 좀 어, 사시는 집은 아들이신지 얼마 전 짝사랑하는 여자 있다고 했는데 할머니 반대하시면 어떻게 하실 건지 반가워요. Nicely <웃음> so, done. It is like, uh, this was this like show. Mm. We had this last time. It was shown on TV. So, you know, like they showed me as a king of Nepal. Oh, okay. So, It was a different experience, but I'm not a king in Nepal still. <laughs> yeah. uh, and about the love of my life, it, it was just the, you know, like short thing what happened in college mm-hmm. when I was in university. So, you know, like there was like lots of things happening. Mm-hmm. I was seeing like girls, you know, like there were some, some girls like which I liked, so whom I liked, but it was just a short talk. But, you know, like people are still imagining like if, if there's someone who... I'm seeing mm. or this kind of stuff. So. It's funny, isn't it? When, it, you, is, be- it when is. you become a celebrity, everybody <laughs> wants to know everything yes, about everything you, right? Yes, everything about me. Thank yeah. Well, uh, Sujan, thank you very much for coming to the morning special and sharing your story today. And I can speak on behalf of our listeners and tell you that I hope that you have a safe trip back to your hometown. And again, I think personally, what you're doing, going there with the camera crew and, and helping to raise funds, yes. uh, I think it's a wonderful thing that you're doing. It is, it is. So, you know, like we have to do a lot uh, in future as well. So I've been uh, telling everyone, you know, like it's not the end, you know, like now it's the hot issue, what's happening in Nepal, you know, yeah. but after sometimes it might go down, but still uh, everyone will be le- needing like lots of help in Nepal. So, you know, like I would... Uh, like uh, people to be more concerned and, you know, like, you know, help Nepal in coming days as well. So You have a wonderful attitude about it. I have to have it, you know, like I have to. So mm, still lots of things to do. Any final messages for our listeners, your fans out there today? It's like, uh, uh, it's morning and, you know, I'd like to thank every one of you who invited me to, you know, like put in my words and all my fans and whoever listening, you know, like just pray for Nepal for the time being and still uh, love Nepal and love Sujan in coming days as well. Sujan Shakya, thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. It was a pleasure.